Hi guys, Colin from uh, Run Venture. Just going to do uh, a little bit of a test on a shoe today. Um, this is a brand that virtually nobody's heard of, and I was contacted by them and said, uh, "Have a look at our shoe. Uh, think you'll like it. We'll send you a pair to test." They've got a range of few shoes, and this is a company. I mean, you can see it's probably back to front, but it's N V V I N V Scandinavian brand. Um, so this is um, the first look at these shoes. These are called a Terra TT, the builder racing shoe. Uh, so let's have a look. Okay, so um, very blue. Um, reminds me of a VJ. It's got. Uh, this is the first impression, by the way. I just got them out of the box. Um, it's got this protection. Thing here, I have done a bit of research, and they're into orienteering, and obviously, run the Scandinavians are massively into orienteering and trail running. This is their more cushion shoe, so they say you could do an ultra in it. Um, um, let's have a look at the features. I have researched it, um, it's 200 grams, so it's featherweight. So, I'm thinking it's going to be a fast shoe. Butyl, butyl rubber sole, so cleat pan, very sticky, five to four millimeters thick uh, lugs um, and this uber lightweight soft stuff it's almost feels like polystyrene it's very um, squidgy um, hasn't got the extra hole could have shaved a bit of weight there um, the tongue is very very lightweight this is a nine and a half um, so um, which is my size so we'll be able to see whether it fits I'll get it on in a sec um, yeah protective run looks nice we're gonna see what it fits like um, I know it does come, having just looked in a box, with two footbeds. So it comes with a footbed. Nice, very thin footbed. Um, so the idea being when I looked online when I received this with quick research is it comes with another footbed for volume. So that must go in there. Yeah, gives it, I suppose it makes more volume, but we'll see. We'll see what it goes once we get it on our feet. Um, it's supposed to have some sort of uh, protective rock plate in it. Hmm. Not sure on that. Um, but, you know, so I'm already thinking this is not, even though they advertise an ultra shoe, uh, it's not good for me being a longer distance now, older, heavier runner. Um, going to be a bit right looking for pbs on the trails or the fells probably then this is it this is gonna be a fast uber fast shoe so i'm going to get these on get outside take them for a run uh, from the store see what they're like on the hard surface i.e tarmac um and then up on to the moor it's going to be hard up there um i'm going to aim to do six miles so um let me get my feet take a front and then i can feed back i know these retail at um 126 sheets, 126 pounds that is, um, and if it's any good then it's something we will look in stock, but already I'm thinking this is going to be for the racing snakes amongst us, um, cousin ladies as well obviously, um, but let's give it a go, okay, get back to you soon. Hi there guys, so um, back from uh, the run with the shoes that I tested, obviously had a shower, got changed, um, and yeah okay so only did about uh, four and a half miles on forest tracks hard surface just to get an initial um, thought like I said in the start the footbed I did have to put the thicker footbed in to make it um, fit um, and they fit my foot fairly well um, this is a nine and a half um, very light um, nice steady run did put a little bit a lot of hills in but and did put a little bit of faster work in um, nothing too much because I'm not as fast um, and to be honest, I didn't want to like them, um, and I'm still not sure. Um, it's marketed as a longer distance shoe. Obviously, they do obviously uh, other shoes, skinnier fit, lighter again, racing shoes, and this is designed for their longer run, um, even in ultra. In one of their reviews, not an ultra shoe. Did I feel the ground a little bit? It was hard out there, hard compact. It's probably uh, better on the muddy stuff, and I wouldn't feel anything. But with an ultra run, you are. Uh, unless you're at the sharp end, um, and even then you're gonna be walking some, um, which means walking a lot more heel strike. You don't feel the studs, but there's still not enough protection. So for a longer distance, I was out 40 minutes. Um, yes, I could feel it, I started to feel a little, not bruising, but I could feel it on the ground. Now, I used to be mega light on my feet, I'm not, so I am a heavy runner. 
So if you are super racing snake, speedy, phew, billy whiz, and you're on uh, light on your feet, then this might be uh, the shoe. Um, wear wise, obviously you're not gonna get too much wear um, on the four and a half mile run. Um, it's worn okay. Um, are we gonna stock it? 126 pounds. Um, it's a fairly niche market. Um, I'm gonna do um, another run in a couple of days. I'm gonna be up on the moor and I'll probably do eight miles in the softer stuff um, and see and see what it's like out there. So the jury is still out um, and we'll see. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it up to you and, and say whether you want it to be in store and um, not only that, but do you wanna see it in store and will you buy it? Um, so yeah, racing shoe, fast, it's comfy, uh, very, very light. Say so short fell race, short trail race, something like that, speedy, speedy. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it up to you guys. You let me know um, and I will um, update it once I've done a little bit more than running. Okay, my day run.